JVC, hope you're doing well. I did uh, promise this would be a bit of a DIY video um, as a fitting background there. You've probably seen by the title already, but uh, this is going to be my attempt at building my own ultrasonic record cleaner. I say attempt because this is not a guide or a how-to or a you know official, maybe not even recommended way of doing it, but this is me uh, doing a bit of a, a test or a trial over the uh, Christmas and New Year period since I've got some time off. I thought I'd do something, um, give it a go, see what happens. I'm not the greatest at DIY, um, but this one shouldn't be too hard. And we'll see how we go. I'll run you through basically what I'm doing and then yeah, I'll take you through the steps as we do it. But yeah, just as a disclaimer to anyone, this is in any way, this could not even work. So, so this is the ultrasonic cleaning tank itself. So what I'm going to be doing is building uh, an attachment to clip on here where we can rest the record and clean it. Uh, you can get these fairly easily off eBay. Yeah, this is just a uh, six liter one. I might post in the link below to this video um, the one I picked up. And you can probably find one similar online. Um, it's got a power supply on the back here. And the idea is your record will sit here with attachments on both sides. And uh, basically a, a dowel will sit across here where the record can sit in. It needs to be just high enough that it's not gonna touch the sides and rotate cleanly. It also needs to be low enough that the water level will reach just the bottom of the label, uh, which is gonna be the challenge really. Uh, you fill this up with water add your cleaning solution and the, the tank itself creates these sort of microscopic bubbles that um, they vibrate with like a high frequency and what that does is agitate the grooves or agitates the dirt in the grooves and pulls them out to the surface. Um, it's basically a glorified jewelry cleaner. Uh, it does have these temperature gauge and a timer on it um, which is really cool so you can set it to a low temperature to get the water warmed up a bit uh, which will help um, sort of clean out the gunk I suppose and you can sort of put it on a timer for as long as you need Obviously the longer you clean it the deeper the clean which is fantastic. Also the amount of records you put in um, I'm, I'm predicting you can fit maybe between two and three in this which is great um, But again the less you put in the, the better the clean really. We also have on here a um, Tap to let the water out at the end which is really useful instead of having to turn the whole thing up and pull out the water You can just let it run through here and then just give the tank a wipe out when you're finished. So yeah, you can just uh, release the water by twisting that around there, which is uh, super useful. Now, before going any further, I uh, made up a scale diagram of what I'm hoping to achieve. Um, so I just drew up here showing, so this is basically the tank here from a side view. So obviously we're looking at it like that. I'm going to build these uh, wooden attachments to sit here and here, which will be on here and here. And then a, basically a rod will run across the top. Um, I'm going to attach a motor here and a, yeah, the dowel will run across here or rotor, whatever you want to call it, uh, with a little thing, a tube that will attach them together. Now the motor will rotate, which rotates this rod which will in turn turn the record. That's the basic principle anyway. Um, that's just a quick side view showing how the thing attaches on the side. I found some wood on the side of the road and I'm gonna chop them up and glue them together basically to uh, create these two things. That's the first step and I'll sand them down a bit and tidy them up. The annoying part might be there's actually a gap, like a lip between where the wood sits and the tank is, which is actually this here which may be a problem so we'll see how we go with that um what i'm going to do is i'm not going to show you the gluing and sanding and chopping and all that because that's pretty straightforward what these little attachments here there's one up here and what they do is they stick one sticks on the top like that and 
and there's one that sits on the other side, which I am in the middle of. I'm just letting the glue dry. I'm going to sand it a bit and tidy it up um, on this side here. So the basic, basic concept is you're going to have one piece that goes there and one piece that goes here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this is a uh, one volt motor which rotates at one, um, sorry, one RPM motor that uh, rotates yeah, once per minute and that gets attached onto here. Actually, it will end up being a bit lower. You probably can't really see that, but yeah, that goes on there. And I stick this dowel on that. Let's see if you can see that. Probably can't. It's very hard to film this. That goes onto here, and then the motor will rotate, and the record goes on the spindle. Um, and I'll get some sort of uh, something to basically keep the record upright uh, as it rotates. That's the general basic thing. Um, this this dial is sort of six millimeters. Uh, if you can get seven millimeters, even better. We'll see how we go. Okay, so we sort of have these, not particularly well made, but they'll do um, attachment things. So yeah, they're basically just three pieces of wood that we uh, put together. I just found this wood on the side of the road actually, and sanded it down a bit. It just slots on here. Um, this one just sort of needs a bit of a clip on, which is quite nice, and it stays quite well in place. And then obviously the, your vinyl will slide onto here, and this will go on top. And that's your um, thing. If I can, what I'm going to do is put a spirit level on here just to show you, see how level this is. Uh, as you can see, it's not really that level <laughs> at all. Um, I watched another guy who did a similar video to this, and he suggested putting some foam, because his wasn't level either, underneath here. You can see that's moving, uh, and that'll bring it up quite a bit. So as you, you probably can't really see, but um, it's becoming more level. So what I've got is these, they're like sponge steel things. What I'll do is I'll just cut those up and run them under here, and that should bring it up a bit. Um, also, because annoyingly, the tank has a lip on it, uh, I can run some under here as well, and that should just stop any movement around. This one, same thing as well, and here you can't really see. So yeah, run the piece of stripping under here. It's basically, to show you a close-up, it's got an adhesive strip on here, part of my really white legs. It just rips under there. Now you can see that the bubble is perfect. We're having a bit of a thunderstorm outside, slash the washing is on, so you might hear some, a bit of strange noises but I'm just testing the height of the record. It's wobbling quite a bit because I've got the garage door open and it's quite windy, but I just wanted to make sure the record gets as close as possible to the edge without actually touching it. So if I hold this straight here, oops, you can see that it will still rotate and it's not touching the edges. Um, and of course, when I attach the motor, it will be a few millimeters higher. So we should be absolutely perfect. So I have to confess, it's not just me working in this, my wonderful girlfriend is helping too. This is the final stages of attaching the, uh, what is basically a USB cable to the motor. Um, this is basically just a USB cord that has four wires inside and we've stripped it back and put back the green and blue, was it? Black and red. And then we've pulled out the black and red and we've attached up to the bottom. We probably should have filmed this um, a bit sooner, but it's a bit late now, but we're just, yeah, this is electrical tape. We're attaching to the bottom. When we plug it in, the motor should rotate at one revolution per minute. And then after that, we'll attach it to the record cleaner itself. All right, the big moment has arrived. Sounds like it's moving. We have movement. You probably can't really even tell because it's going at one revolution per minute but it's slowly moving, you can see that? And hold it steady enough. It is slowly moving around. And there's the tape. Success! Okay, so this is the first test. Uh, as you can see, the motor is just, we've literally taped this on here until we get the measurements and stuff right. Um, We've got some bulldog clips to hold the record in, which actually work really well. 
we've just put a little bit of whatever you want to call that tubing on there just to hold it in place which we'll, we'll glue down eventually we just want to see if it actually works and if it rotates um, so I'm going to switch the power on and with a bit of luck we should have a rotating record and as you can see it's working the record's rotating oh. there we go my partner <laughs> girlfriend came up with a genius idea of actually using two dowels just cut short as a way as a rest for the uh, main rod itself so when it turns around it will just rotate on the top of the two rods so without, I won't lift it up but you can sort of see it just it just basically rests on here this is just a test we'll obviously tidy it up a bit um, and it's just blue tucked down at the moment but yeah it's just a test to see if it rotates we haven't mounted the motor on yet we just want to make sure it's all level and stuff and we're going to make sure that this isn't touching the sides um, so we'll just switch on and give it a go so as you can see it's rotating pretty well and the rod is turning around on top of the two dowels there very slowly and the bulldog clip's still working really well and that's pretty perfect i think we're happy with that so we've kind of done the uh, hardest part um, we've managed to glue the motor to the piece of wood and measure the exact height and make sure it's completely even um, and make sure it sits on the dowel perfectly so when it rotates uh, it doesn't slip off um, basically because there's the weight of the records mean that the dowel will stay exactly where it is and won't roll away we sort of tested it um, I'll just flick it on and show you but we're sort of getting more into a permanent state now um, we've got two records on here and they're rotating perfectly as you can see and it's slowly you can't really tell but slowly rotating on the dowel here and there's the uh, the way we've connected the rod to the motor, just with a bit of tubing. We could always glue this if we wanted to, but I don't think we need to. There you go, so look at that, not bad at all. So, fast forward a couple of days and we are now back in Wellington. Uh, as you can see the records behind me. So, the bad news is we've hit a bit of a uh, setback, I suppose. A minor setback, I mean I'm not surprise when people are set back um, things like this happen when you're doing such a DIY project on such a lo-fi scale um, so for whatever reason when I was trialing it the two U2 records I was working at using worked perfectly but as you can see here if you've been watching the transatlantic one for whatever reason the, the spindle hole is probably slightly larger so it attempts to spin and then the grip just sort of drops back a bit um, so no matter how many how tight I push these up against the record as you can see here they're really tight already it moves a little bit and then it just sort of I mean you can see that the actual clip here is moving at, at the perfect speed but the record is just not making any traction and of course when the water goes in and is vibrating too it's, it's just not going to turn around um, which is a bit of an issue so there's a few solutions but mainly I'm going to trial something that sits on here that sort of more attaches to the record that we can push in so basically there's more surface area touching the record that's turning around right because I mean the only bits touching it really is if I push it off a bit further here so now, now it's turning a little bit more but it, it will get to the top and it'll just sort of drop back again if you give it a second or you know just because we're on camera now it may work anyway we're basically thinking just one moment something like this here uh, which is quite thin but with backed with some cork which is quite thick that we can uh, I'll show you this, so that we can drill a hole through it and it will sit on here and hopefully this here cork is sort of got a bit see it's sort of working now but I mean I, it's not great um, so we need to think of a better solution or an improved solution but that, that's the idea really sorry about the horrible angles is yeah something with a bit of I guess thick cork and this thing here that we can uh, stick together and hopefully it will I mean in theory Sorry, I'm becoming an expert in 
holding the camera and I mean in theory this also fits perfectly over the record label so it's not going to happen but any water will be protected and the cork will sit over so yeah the idea of being the grip from here should hopefully mean the surface area means the record turns a bit easier and with less stress on the motor and hopefully eliminates any slipping that's the plan anyway fingers crossed as a solution or at least a potential solution i've built these uh, little i suppose you would call them i don't know what you would call them but i'm going to drill a hole through the middle this is basically a cork on one side which is a kind of has a bit of a it's not really sticky but you know that cork has that material and uh wood on the side and i've just put some electrical tape that runs around here just to give it a bit of a smoother finish um and then i'm gonna yeah drill a hole in the middle and a hole in the other one and hopefully that'll work okay so as i was showing you before we've got this attachment i'm gonna call it one side is cork one side is wood and i've just put some electric tape electrical tape around the edges to smarten it up a little bit um, we've drilled a, well we originally drilled a 6mm hole in here um, but it was really tight so we've gone for 6.5 and what this is it just sits over here it goes right up flush against the record we've also got one that goes on the back and just to be double sure we're going to attach a bulldog clip on each side to make sure it's really tight up against the record so this goes in here we connect this on as usual, sits on the dowel we get the other bulldog clip and push it up right up against it so it's going to make sure it's really nice and tight and everything's on nothing's touching the side so we should be good to go and i'm going to hit put the power on and action so you may also notice or you will in a second i've put a piece of tape on the record uh, just to show that it's rotating smoothly so you can see here the tape's coming up and we've got action so that's much better than before and uh, we're not getting the slippage as much as we had previously so that's a success I think. Okay so I think we're pretty happy with the final product now. What we thought we'd do is we'd better test it um, with the water in because obviously as the water starts to vibrate that will cause a bit of friction so we're worried that the um, record may not rotate you know, with the added friction of the water in it. So um, we filled it up to the mark and it's absolutely perfect. The water just sits just under the uh, record label, which is exactly what we needed, which is great. Um, normally in a cleaning process, you let the water heat up and all that sort of stuff, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna switch it on and see if it rotates. And this should be the final test, really. I think if this works, um, we're almost done. So yeah, let's switch it on. Now, uh, as a warning, it's going to be very loud and it's going to not sound great through this phone. But you've been warned. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. <laughs> After all that, I've actually got to switch the thing on. And it seems to be working. You can sort of see that. Look at that, that's dirt coming off my finger. Gross. <laughs> so that's it, you've made it to the end of the video. Well done. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we're, we're pretty happy with this so far. Uh, I will do a part two where I talk about um, the cleaning and how that, see if it actually works. So I mean, it obviously rotates but does it clean? That's the big question. So what I'm going to do is in the next video, I'm going to talk about the cleaning process, the water I put in, the uh, ingredients or the cleaning solution, how long it goes in for, and we'll do a before and after needle drop on a dirty record and how it sounds after that. So a bit of a comparison. Um, yeah, so that's it really. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it through. Hopefully you've learned something. If not, you'll find it interesting. And that's all. Cheers. Thank you guys.